Hey, I'm Kyle, a craftsman and adventurer in Newfoundland, Canada. I invite you to subscribe to my channel to follow along with my many adventures. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. My website, kylenoswithy.com, has a shop tab where you can find awesome merchandise, including my very own handcrafted knives. I hope you enjoy the video. We're about to do some really interesting work for the flatbed build, but first, I've got to clean out this container and pressure wash it to get, to get all the, the fish scale and, and the fish blood off. This is what we took when we went out as a family this weekend, this past weekend. We were fishing, packed all our grub in there. The water's so warm up. I wonder if today but not a whole lot definitely raining harder than it was called for so we might might have to take a rain check Woo. let me hold you guys on back there but in either case, I figured I'd dodge on down, have a look at the old van, size things up at minimum, and look for a window. We're going to see if we can get, uh, I've been trying to find a back window for the Vandura. I want a back window before I frame in the vehicle and sheet it in because then it becomes a whole bunch more hassle if I've got to get inside and, and add in framing. So I want framing now, ideally. So I need my window now. But everything I find online is really expensive. We're talking like 300 bucks for for a window, which is really pricey for that, that's pricey for what we want, what we need. Now first off we got a flawless headliner, a perfect white headliner here. So I'll want that one for the cab of mine. That'll just hide all the all the work we did up there. Oh come on. What is that? Raining pretty good out there, but I'll still get suited up regardless. The tools can handle it. May not get anything done today. <laughs> not with a corn like that. I am soaked. So I'm going for dinner. <laughs> Roof is off though, so big part of this project. 
Well, I actually might have found a window here. Let's not get caught up in where I might have found this bus door, but there happens to be one perfect glass, and if I can get it out safely, it will be perfect for our flatbed. Spray nine. Clean up the oil. We'll also wash down the the rubber trim that looks to be decent shape. I could buy trim if I needed to, but every expense spare is a is a benefit. Near perfect condition. Even the whole rubber seal is perfectly nourished and quite usable. Now that the weather is dried up, we're testing our rough cut roof panel for the first time. So we're just throwing it on there and I'm going to size up the situation. It's oversized, it needs to be trimmed, it's very rough, but we're going to see how it fits. It is warm here today guys, and it is warm in that mask. Whew. Water pouring out my goggles.
went in for supper, changed the clothes, some family time, but I just had a couple ideas in sitting on the couch and I had to come back out tonight just to have a look here. Really happy with how this roof is going so far. Got those edges trimmed up. It's not that jagged, rough looking cut. It actually looks like a nice body panel right now. I've eaten into that rust, carved most of it off down to the bare sheet metal, cleaned off the edges to the point where you're able to weld them on right now. But I just had an idea, a way to stiffen everything up here so that the roof sits properly up sitting up um, before I put it on. And that is to put a piece of my angle iron or roof framing in underneath, weld it in here so this roof panel is a stiff structure. I'll weld it short inside where it needs to be and then I can connect my roll cage to it later. So I'm just going to lay this on the truck right now. We're going to do our first test fit with a cut here. We might have to do a little bit more trimming in a couple places, we'll see. And then I'll measure out while it's there and see if I'm able to clamp and weld uh, a straight piece of angle iron all the way across the bottom, we'll see. sure make it easier to handle we have that on here. It's beautiful. That is beautiful. I wonder if I can Put a straight edge on this saggy roof here. Just need to determine if the lines look right. Should that be a perfect straight edge? Oh yeah, sure looks good. Oh, that looks so good. So I've cut flush with this back edge, both sides. We're doing an angle iron frame in here. Look how nice that looks. Nice straight edge. We'll tie in, we'll pinch that up, pop rivet or weld it. I might put a few pop rivets in this just to keep it in place until I weld it. That's our body line that'll be welded. And that's the line right there. We welding right around. There's barely any any roof left on there where it was cut out for the C, for the class C, the camper. So we needed pretty much a full panel to just fill in that spot. Would have been back more in the middle and a lot greater chance of uh, of having water back in there. At least this comes and caps down. So we're already down past where the roof crowns, so any water will meet down here in the gutter. And from the driver's corner, keeping up away from the gutter. Not to spoil that. Really, really happy with that. I like that nice straight edge instead of crowning there. Nice straight edge. I think that'll give us a good look off the back. Very nice. That's a nice crisp, clean look there. Just to give you a reminder of how much Roof was left in, very little, but this is a tight seal right around that gutter, so I didn't want to cut that out. That is awesome. Good solid roof panel. Our headliner, we took out the old one, we'll clip right in and take in sheesh. We might even have to trim it a little short, but I don't think so, but I think it'll pretty much go right to the back of this one. these 
for now, but I might drill and put, you know, a whole bunch of them all the way along, just like you would a rain gutter. Um, but for now, we'll just do that. Everything will be in place, nice and tight. See how Michael likes me well with her gloves again. <laughs> You told me, Michael, you told me. You all the fault now. And that is all the time we have for this episode. That is what we got done. Very happy with the production this week. Of course, we're not hammering down. You're not going to see this finished up in one video, but uh, I'm happy with our progress considering all the rest that I got going on. This is a side project. Really, really excited now. Fired up with what's going on here. If you liked it, hit the like button. I would love for you to share. It would really help us out. Hit the subscribe button if it's your first time here. I hope to see you in the next video.